Former President Donald Trump returned to the Pennsylvania site of the July assassination attempt on his life, drawing crowds of supporters. CBS News' Ricky Sayer is in Butler with the latest on the heightened security for today's event. And as I was saying... Former President Donald Trump came back to Butler, Pennsylvania on Saturday. Almost three months after, a would-be assassin's bullet grazed his ear. All who have visited this hallowed place will remember what happened here, and they will know of the character and courage that so many incredible American patriots have showed and know. A number of people in the crowd also attended his rally the day of the shooting in July. It means that, hey, he's a fighter and he's, he's going to fight for us. And it, it meant, meant the world, I think, to the, the people there when he, when he came up and said, you know, I'm okay. The former president paid tribute to Corey Comparator, killed while trying to protect his family during the attack. Corey leapt into the fire one more time. In his last seconds of this earth, he threw himself on the top of his wife and daughters. He didn't want them hurt. Security is extra tight after July's shooting and another apparent attempt on Trump's life at his West Palm Beach Golf Club only weeks ago. Snipers and U.S. Secret Service agents were stationed inside and outside the secure perimeter of the Butler Farm Show Fairgrounds on Saturday, including the roof of a warehouse the gunman used to fire multiple rounds. Meanwhile, in North Carolina Saturday, Vice President Kamala Harris surveyed devastation from Hurricane Helene. I think that these moments of crisis um, bring out some of the best of who we can be and who we are. Helene, the deadliest U.S. storm since Hurricane Katrina in 2005, has already claimed at least 225 lives in several southern states. Ricky Sayer, CBS News, Butler, Pennsylvania. At one point, the Trump rally was paused briefly so medics could help someone in the crowd.